I'd welcome it at this point. You welcome it. <laughs> <laughs> I will welcome a little bit of misery to my penis. <laughs> Don't put me in a room full of fat strippers, ladies and gentlemen. I will throw up. I promise you that. I would like to welcome you to a show. It's like eating lobster tacos while swerving potholes. It's delicious, but sometimes we make a mess. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right. This is the Hype Podcast. I'm the host with no name. I'm also fresh, kind of green screenless, but I still like to bless you. All I have is words. These words, they sound powerful. They sound important. They've kept you going for about 30 seconds. I want to welcome you to one of the best fucking shows ever. I'd like to also send a shout out to, uh, to Big Kid Boots. That hella old motherfucker. I'm going to start calling him Little Big Kid Boots. Can I do that? No, you don't talk about my friends like that. What do you mean? What you do you mean? mean? That's not... Well, I didn't... You You were not allowed to have a friend name modifier. <laughs> Did you apply for a friend name modifier? You could not modify my friend's motherfucking name. His name is Big Kid Boots. You say it the same way. First of all, that's not his real name. Second of all, where do I apply for this? Is it online? Do I have to send away for it? What is the, is this like Publishers Clearinghouse? Do I enter hey, a you fucking motherfucking mil, You motherfucking millennial, Google it. What are you, what are you, I'm asking you. Why do you ask me any questions? I'm Just asking, Google it. I'm asking Just the Google fucking it. knower Just of Google. all you're, things. You're Look, fucking sponge watch. watch we're watch starting the show shit. already and he's already getting the fucking ego about him. I'm asking the knower of well, all I'm things. I'm feeling good about myself. Things have changed in the last couple weeks. Dude, I don't... I'm a little concerned about you. I wasn't going to bring it up, but since you're talking about change already. <laughs> not the Obama not shit. Only, <laughs> not the Obama shit. I'm still paying for health care, asshole. Not only do you have a jar of trust, so you've graduated from the cup of trust to the jar of trust. Hey, dual barrel, bitch. You're wearing, you're wearing button, button ups with the button all the way up to the top. The, the floor is cleaner than a KFC bathroom floor. You're getting kid-sized arcade games. I'm feeling like you're getting a little domesticated. So, so, so let's run it back. Let's run it back. So I, I needed to have Mortal Kombat in my house. <laughs> Just for some reason. The video I, game. Yeah, not, the video not gladiator game. Style. I had Mortal Kombat. <laughs> the ladies are not into Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Believe me, fellas. I'm not going to say I tried it, but they're not into Mortal Kombat. The bodies in his basement prove his point. <laughs> so I needed to have this arcade machine because I'm a big fucking kid. Well, the problem was... I had to clean the fucking house. For what? Because there was not enough blank floor space <laughs> that was not already a walkway for me to put the fucking game. So I, I you had a little I, fucking hiking path through your house. I mean, I, I really there was an episode of hoarders going on in my own fucking house. I, I mean, I look clean as fuck, but there was it, it was hoarders. Hey, but I keep my records straight. Yeah. <laughs> Police records how, how and you, vinyl. How did you come to this realization? I mean, we, you and I live on the philosophy. It's okay to have one of everything. Well, I found myself, I was sick a couple weeks ago, and I found myself obsessed. Okay. I said, I need this arcade machine right. in my house. Yeah. Because if I have an arcade machine in my house, then I have arrived. <laughs> I have been blessed. You, you know what? I go to people's houses that are twice as big, four times as big, better cars, all sorts of shit. But you know what it is lacking? It is lacking an arcade machine. They cannot do a fatality <laughs> in their goddamn living room. So what, so what you're saying is... You I mean, got, unless you're like the Menendez brothers, just shit like that where you kill your parents. <laughs> <laughs> wow, too soon? Yeah. So what you're telling me is you spent a little too much time at home. You got sick, you were around the house, and you were like, God damn, I need to move some floor space around here. I need to be able to see my goddamn floor so I can put Mortal Kombat in my living room. I didn't even know what the fucking floor looked like. <laughs> You're like, hardwood? I didn't even know I had this shit. You know, because it's okay to have one of everything, but you need to stack it somewhere. <laughs> It needs to be, you, you have to, you have to organize it and put it somewhere. You can have a lot of shit, but just. <laughs> well, take it, take it from me. Sorry, this video is a little weird. I don't know what to do with my hands. Oh, we're doing so. video. Oh, we are doing video. If you yeah. want to check us out on Patreon, we are doing video. Video is exclusively for our Patreon members because fuck, it ain't worth it for me to do fucking video. <laughs> you hear for the, free. You you hear you, you And I am wearing hey, pants hey, hey, unless hey. you donate a lot of money. See, it's not worth doing video because hey, 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 you. You heard what I said right there, didn't you? Yeah. You just hear me? <laughs> yeah. You just hear me? Are you listening to my fucking show? <laughs> then why do you need a goddamn video? <laughs> <laughs> now, take it from me. I've known you, what, 15 years, I think, since I was like 21, 22? It's just way too fucking long. In the, in, in the stint, the tenure, as it were, the lifetime that I've known you already, 
You have never had a clean house. Not once. Not once. Not in the apartment downtown. Not when you were on Halsey. Did the camera catch me scratching nowhere. my ass? <laughs> I'm not used to being on camera. Did catch me scratching? Like, I really, I was really digging right there. Scratch my ass. Hey, your ass itches when you podcast. Anyway, so I... <laughs> applause if you saw that hey <laughs> make sure you check it out on Patreon that's exclusive <laughs> that's, that's what you paid for <laughs> that's that, that moment that's that hot content you need <laughs> <laughs> hey just wait hey. till you see Diesel Fresh hey. scratch his ass <laughs> wait till you see me doing negative yeah. only fans hey <laughs> no wonder we don't make any money <laughs> yeah <laughs> No, but I'm I'm really genuinely curious. Is this the only house that you've owned that's ever been clean? No, I, um, usually I get into cycles where um, I just it just it just, I just get tired of the house and I just like you know, I feel you. I just find you know I, I just find a little spot in the house. This is where I like to sit. Yeah, <laughs> 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 happens all the time. I mean, just like yeah, I, it, it got a, you can say shit got a little ahead. And I just had to come battle it back. Well, is I mean, I am a champion right now. <laughs> I am a champion, and I have, why? Because you have the high score in Mortal Kombat. I mean, motherfucker, I've committed a lot of fatalities since I got this house cleaned up. <laughs> Boom again. No, but let me let me ask you. Like, do you ever see? I get that way about like friends' houses, right? And I've had some like house cleaning fucking horror stories, dude. You don't get. You never got that way about my house. Well, it's because it's because you're a saying, fucking lunatic. <laughs> Never listen, that way. listen, because you're yeah, he said friends. <laughs> <laughs> he said friends, I know, I know he said friends, didn't because, he? Because you're a fucking lunatic and you have boxes of t-shirts and fucking guitars strewn everywhere. I pick up some shit, I never know what's gonna be underneath. There's probably a possum somewhere fucking <laughs> waiting hey, to oh, be barbecued. Hold, hold, hold the fuck up. It's one thing to say I got a lot of shit around my house, but to say rodents live up in this motherfucker, you <laughs> I didn't lost, say you, didn't lost, you said a possum. It was in my fucking house. I said a dead nah, possum. You see, no, you see no bugs. You don't see shit like that. There's a whole other thing. You can have a lot of shit. It can be slopped the fuck around, but if you got bugs and roaches in your shit, then you are nasty. You are real. We'll boo you too. <laughs> <laughs> boo you too, boo boo. Nah, so I'm out at my buddy's house. You remember when I went to Idaho for that month? I depend. Yeah. So I go out there and it, and it's all good. Like they, you know, they live the way they live. I live in the little guest house downstairs in the basement and it's, it's full swing. It's two bedrooms. It's got a living room. It's got a bathroom. The only thing it doesn't have is a kitchen, right? Well, that kind of sucks. Well, and so I keep that shit spotless, right? The whole time I'm there just cause that's that's the way I roll. Yeah, no, yeah. not really. Well, no, I mean, not really. I really. You, 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 that's stop saying that's the way you roll because you're lying. What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you yeah, talking about? I'm, I'm saying. I, I'm saying. No, no, no. When I'm at other people's house. Oh, other people. <laughs> yeah, not my, not my own house. <laughs> no, well, yeah. my other, besides Oso's house. My house, Oso's house. Yeah. Not fucking with it. Yeah, other people's house. Yeah, house. because oh. you're a maniac, and I would never disrupt your flow. So. I'm sitting there, and then I one. should boo you again. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I will fuck you up, Angela. Fine, I'll come over and clean your house every it's too late now. Tuesday in a now. maid's it's outfit. It's too late now. It's too late now. So I'm at my buddy's house, right? And I hop, I hop out of the shower. I'm getting ready to, for work, and I'm like, "The fuck? Like it smells kind of funky, right?" And so I'm like, "What is?" It? And I just ignore it. I'm like, "Okay, like no big deal." Well, I'm downstairs all day, and what happens when you're in an in a room with an odd aroma all day. Like, you kind of get used to it. Yeah, it doesn't smell odd anymore. Yeah, right? And so, him and I leave. We go to the gym. I don't think anything of it until I get back. And I'm like, whoa, holy shit. Literally. Like, it smells like shit. I, was, I would say, like, I like to say as a per- public service announcement, some people's armpits are like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, pit sweat's yeah. the worst. You, don't, you, you know, know how you resolve that? You don't that? know it's you. You know how you resolve that? Deodorant, wash your ass. Well, that that too. That too. Washing that, your ass helps. Tip from the Pipe Podcast. If you are unaware, trim your armpit hair, bitches. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. It does, it does yeah. happen. It reduces, yeah. it reduces the smell because the sweat has nothing to stick to. So if you shave your armpit hair, you don't have to like bick it. Don't get fucking weird. Put like on a, a one extension. Because yeah, I will tell you, when you have armpit hair, I've had to do the full shampoo. Yeah. And you know, I, and I hate when I got to undo the dreadlocks yeah. and then put the shampoo in. <laughs> unbraid them. <laughs> I got to unbraid my fucking armpit hair just so I can put a little shampoo in. And, you know, because the motherfucker really likes the Pantene. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it took a little bit more than Pantene to cure this ailment. So what happens at my buddy's house? His sup pump broke. And if you don't know what a sup pump is, it is a downstairs basement pump that pumps out sewage from your water heater. And if right? you don't know what sewage is, yeah. that's shit. Yeah, it's that's shit. shit. Like, like, like everything pumps out you your flush. water heater, pumps out everything. Like everything out of your fucking house. And when you remember shit, that bad Thai food you had yeah. last week? <laughs> it pumped that out. <laughs> well, this one didn't. The sub remember, pump went out. Remember we let the potato salad out all night? It pumped that shit <laughs> yeah. right the fuck out. So this motherfucker goes out. Well, it's not pumping out the sewage anymore, so it overflowed downstairs in his fucking basement. Wow. That's an aroma. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. Like, I'm down here, fucking sewage everywhere. We evacuate. Like, you, people die from this shit. Like, you can get fucking, like, poison. There can be septic. Gas. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> what is it? That, that, is that what they call it? Yeah. It's Sep- fucking septic tank. You, and you go, and you, you get, get septic. septic. Yeah. yeah. And so, because <laughs> you really are full of shit at that point. Hey, you, don't you love it when words work together? You, you <laughs> yeah. Fuck with the septic tank, you get septic. I, I've been, only been around one that went bad, and it's it's bad. It's bad. Yeah. So we spent we spent a week of that month cleaning that shit up, like literally. And I was like, oh my god, this is fucking terrible. But living downstairs, I couldn't I couldn't stop. Like I was just nope. I got got to clean, got to clean, got to clean, got to clean. Let me describe to you, our listeners. What it smells like when a septic tank fucks up. <laughs> you remember that shit that you took that you wish nobody went into the bathroom for for like two hours? Like, you know, you ever done one of those where you keep walking by the bathroom and going, <laughs> the, wind, the window's wide open <laughs> and it's just it's, so thick it's it just, can't get it's, through the it's screen. Still, it's still there. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> motherfucker, you ready to leave your house off brushing your teeth? It smells so bad in there still. And it was you. It was your fault. You dropped the ball. <laughs> Imagine that and then multiply it by four. Hundred. 400. And then you can't walk away from it. Like, you can't close now, the door. Like, I was working at a Taco Bell, and we had a we had a septic tank problem. The whole lot. Yeah. I mean, it, oh, sm- it, it, so it, it, it smelled like people had eaten Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> like, all 10,000 people <laughs> that mowed through that drive-thru that day took a shit in the parking lot and just left. In the same, right in the same spot. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking glorious. It's so terrible. If you've never experienced... A septic tank overflowing into your basement. I highly don't recommend it, and I hope you never have to. Go oh, there's that. a camera there. Yeah, there's always a camera. I've been talking, talking to the camera. The camera. Yeah. It's on. We're on Patreon. Yeah. Patreon. You donate, you get shit. <laughs> you get to see these pretty fucking faces right here. Yeah. Now the video will be going up later yeah. because it takes more work, you motherfucker, to ask for this shit. <laughs> and also, slash Diesel Fresh does private shows for extra money. Just in case anybody's wondering. But hey, got- you never know what kind of private show it may be. I got some magic, motherfucker. <laughs> Speaking of fucking magic, dude, who is fucking casting dark magic on the city of Vancouver? What the fuck is happening? We got 26 degree mornings with like four inches of snow and then 50 degrees in the afternoon. What is this, fucking Florida? I have no idea what happened. I woke up <laughs> to, I, you know, the bitches. This My, old this this old motherfucker told me it was gonna snow a week ago. Who? This old motherfucker I know. No, no, no listen. I want names and addresses. I need some goddamn answers for I, this I, motherfucker. I, I, I can't give up the innocent. Well, not on here. I'm saying after the show. Not you write that show. shit down. No, this old motherfucker said it's gonna snow on Monday. It's 70 degrees last week. I'm chilling. Yeah, like, 70 know, fucking six. If I owned Bermuda shorts, I would have been wearing those motherfuckers. <laughs> He's got yeah. my own booty shorts. I mean, I really put on my Sperry Topsiders and said, it is a good time right now. <laughs> Had a couple Coronas. It was good times. And this, this motherfucker going to tell me it's going to snow next week. <laughs> and sure enough, here it was. <laughs> Monday morning. Dude, no, I, I, don't, I don't understand. Like everything. Glo- what happened to global warming? What happened, Joe Biden? Somebody fucking tell me. It's called climate change, sir. Oh, oh, sorry. We're not allowed to call it global it, no, warming anymore. It makes sense when you call it climate change. You call it global warming? Yeah, I guess. It was a hot summer. Dude, don't you love how they move the fucking goalposts on that shit all the time? Like, global warming? Really? Why is it snowing in April? Well, it's yeah. climate change, you, you, bud. You know what I do to hate back? What? Spend my whole life not giving a fuck about that shit. <laughs> The world ain't fuck. The world well, ain't but, fucking up before I die. No, I, I was, just, saying, I was just gonna say we ain't gonna be around. <laughs> we ain't gonna I, be around. You could, spend, you could spend the whole for the rest of my life. The world's gonna be just fine. Well, I mean, maybe if this war shit hey, keeps the, going the, on, the ozone layer is fine. Ain't nobody talked to you about the ozone layer lately, <laughs> have they? <laughs> Obviously, shit fixes itself. 
Hey, why you can't fix the cell? Well, now according uh, two thousand according to governments, according to governments, the lockdown fixed the ozone layer, which is bullshit. <laughs> two th- twenty twelve fixed the cell. We were all supposed to die. <laughs> yep. No, the Mayans fucked us over on that one. That was like that was like a two thousand year joke. I'll bet you they are fucking laughing on whatever all spaceship that they is, were on. This shit ain't going nowhere. I'm just fine, dude. How do you know? How do you know? Will Smith is slapping people. He's getting fucking banned from the Oscars like a schmuck. They didn't even take his fucking Oscar uh, away. You, you, we had hail today. We had fucking rain. We had all sorts of crazy shit. We had four you, seasons you know, in 48 you know, hours. We have a lot of shit going on here, sir. Let me address them all one at a fucking time. <laughs> now, Will Smith, this is not my friend. I will enjoy summertime when the summer comes because that is the ultimate summer song. But I will... I, I'm going to pour out a little liquor for, uh, for for Chris Rock when I enjoy summertime. He's not dead. For hey, fuck's sake. Hey, for the hey for the amount of disrespect that motherfucker got, he looks kind of dead. Anyway, <laughs> Will Smith is kicked out of the Academy for 10 years. <laughs> the Academy? The, the Academy. The, the, the no, quick. No, 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 this bitch, this bitch resigned before they could actually kick him out. Because that's what they usually do. Then what, they what, go, do you, what do you mean he resigned? He said, hey, I don't want to... This club you guys got, I don't want to be in no more. You have to be in a club to get a fucking Oscar? Well, how does, you, they, how does that work? They want you to be, if you want to vote on the Oscars, you need to be a part of the Academy. So you gotta you gotta fucking sign up, be a member, probably donate some fucking money, yeah, 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 donate yeah. donate your wife in this case. It's no, that's for a Grammy. <laughs> his his wife was fucking an R and B singer. Let's not get it wrong. <laughs> and I saw pictures of them together. They were a really cute couple. That that's fine. So who, they, who, who, had, more, who had more hair? Oh, she still had hair then. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is this is years ago. Dude, you ever you ever wonder if that's why she got alopecia? Because she's still married to Will Smith. Maybe he's stressing her the fuck out. <laughs> I think it's yeah, I, what it really comes down to is a fair share of doggy style. And when you wrap the hair around your hand and you get a little too rough, the shit just starts popping out. That's what it is. But with Will Smith, what he did. <laughs> Don't wrap the hair around your hand. <laughs> you, you you are going to cause long term damage. That's how that's how you get oh alopecia. God. Yes, when you were in your twenties, bitch, somebody had wrapped their hand, <laughs> wrapped their hair around their hand when they hit it from behind, and that's how you get alopecia. Now, hey, talk, doctors say it. Yes. <laughs> now, le- legitimate question. Al- you didn't didn't you suffer from alopecia at one time? No, no. No. What now? What oh, is, I was close to having epilepsy and alopecia. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. No, if you remember, like, what was it? Like four or five years ago, you had like one little bald spot in your head for something for like ca- for like was, a month. That was called stress. Right. Yeah. That's not alopecia. I don't know what alopecia is. Alopecia is where like you get hair plotches that fall out. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yours was just stress related, as I was told. Yeah, and it, it grew by, back by whom? Like a doctor? By a hairstylist. A fucking hairstylist knows that shit? <laughs> they go to school for that. Yeah, I know, but they're like, not like doctors. I figured that would have been like some sort of medical hey, or epi- mean, the, epidermis. If you work on hair every day, you look at somebody's hair and go, there's something <laughs> wrong with that. No, look, I understand <laughs> that. I, I, I mean, she should be able to do more. <laughs> she should be able to perform more procedures than a fucking CNA <laughs> when it comes to my goddamn head. <laughs> I think so. I don't well, know. I'm wondering because nobody was hitting it from behind with my hair wrapped around <laughs> her hand. That was not happening. <laughs> no, what I'm wondering is like, wouldn't you have to like see a dermatologist because that's skin related? I I'm just surprised if the hairstylist it, 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 fucking knew. Well, if if it played out any further, I was advised that I would need to. Really? Yeah. Oh shit! Thanks for Obamacare. Because <laughs> I know, I know the same thing happens to like animals and shit, right? So when that when it gets hot, like huskies, yeah. they'll have like hair come out in blotches, sometimes down to the skin, right? And people freak out because they're like, "Oh my god!" I, I, dog, my, I, dog, my dog had mange. What we used to do for my dog, yeah. <laughs> my grandpa was an old crazy motherfucker. So what, we, <laughs> what he would do is get burnt up motor oil and sulfur and put it on the dog for his mange. What the fuck? Yeah, I was sitting there like, what the fuck? Wait, wait a minute. He get a, burnt he, up motor oil he get and a, he, sulfur. It burnt up motor oil and sulfur and he put it on the dog. What what is that supposed to do? I don't know. The memory just came back to me now, and it seemed really horrific. <laughs> I was going to say, did he then light the dog on fire? Because this is a horrific memory from your childhood, I feel hey, like. No, I did we, Did, we just, did you repress this your whole life until just now? You know, I just, did I, we just have a breakthrough? 
I think we did. <laughs> I feel like we catered to dogs way too fucking much. What, what do you mean? I mean, it's not me personally, but I've seen a lot of motherfuckers tell me their dog is happy about this. Their dog is happy about oh, that. Oh, like on social media yeah, and shit? My dog's happy I took him to the fucking beach. Well, Your dog doesn't give a shit if they went to the fucking <laughs> beach or not. They're happy they're with you and there's different smells. Your dog would be just as happy if you took him to fucking Walmart. It's all fucking same to them. Yeah, like, your, like your dog came up and tapped you on the ankle and was like, hey, hey. I love the beach. Let's can, go. Can we go to the beach? <laughs> yeah, can we? Did, you, did your dog spell it out in fucking kibble? <laughs> oh, my dog loves the dog park. You give your dog any fucking open area to run. To with other dogs. <laughs> <laughs> your dog's going to fucking love it. Wow. <laughs> did you read that on a urina bag? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, right. I mean, shit, is that the shit that you learn when you use science diet? <laughs> Fucking science night. <laughs> my, my fucking, you know what your dog loves? Your dog loves the fact that you feed him, that you let him lay up with you, and you fucking scratch their belly. That's what your dog fucking loves. Other than that, this, this is hey, the, my dog gets his, my, if I had a dog, it was a get, it's excited going to the front yard as the backyard. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, like, dude, I out of every dog I have ever met, they, they love two things. They love new places, and they love new people. Oh, you oh, know number, what I'm saying? Number three, a ride in a car. Your dog right, yeah. will ditch the fuck out of you for a ride in a yeah. car. If there is a potential ride in a car with a goddamn stranger, yeah. the dog will ditch the fuck out of you. Now don't and now don't get me wrong. I understand there's dogs that are like, this is my house, this is my comfort zone. I'm really skittish. I'm gonna make a lot of noise if new people are in here. You wanna know why? Because it's a new smell and it's a new person. Yeah. And they they may just be very protective over their den or what have you, but on average if you move, if you move into that house, and you're there a lot, that dog's gonna be like, nah, "All right, you're cool. I, I li- you're cool. You're I cool. like you now. You're cool. yeah. I'll fuck with you." Yeah. Like, oh, oh, oh! You fed me. You fed me that one time. I remember. I remember. See, I mean, you fed let's me that let's time. remember this. Your dog. If your dog knows that there is a ride in a car, <laughs> whether it's gonna take that dog to certain fucking danger, a ride in a car, or fucking not, fuck you, fuck whatever you do. And uh, let me bring you something else back. When when your friends come over and they pet your fucking dog, why does your dog look at you like, why don't you do this? <laughs> dog will straight look you dead in the eye like, you, why don't you do this yeah, shit? Like, you don't do this <laughs> shit. You I'm, never, a, yeah, I mean, dog, I'm here 24 hours a day and you don't do that shit. Dog, dog will be soaking up like they've never been petted before in their goddamn life. <laughs> Just because somebody new walked into the house. And my last beef, let's, I mean, if I'm going to beef it off of fucking dogs, if a motherfucker come up here to get you, fuck you, the dog is fucking out. The dog is like, it's, the dog is going to sit there and make noise so a motherfucker get in the house. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> a dog will talk that big shit while somebody's outside. Whoa. That motherfucker open the house. I mean, he, dogs don't even stay around like Scooby-Doo to get a steak. No, dogs <laughs> The fuck out! They, they ain't solving no mysteries. I mean, in this if, house. You, if you if you got a German Shepherd or whatever, some kind of trained dog, probably. But if you got an average, hey, this puppy likes to go to walks and sleep with me. That motherfucker is out. <laughs> that motherfucker. Oh, you think he can't open doors? Yeah. You think opposable <laughs> thumbs will stop this motherfucker from getting out the house and leaving you there? No, to be? fuck that. I've seen dogs open doors before. Number one with their nose. Number two, I've saw a pit bull jump up, open like grab a hinge door, open it up. And a sliding glass door. I've seen a pit bull open a sliding glass door by grabbing the handle and like whipping its body to the side to open this fucking door. I shit you not. These are smart fucking animals. So I'm I'm with you. A dog will put together a Lego set meant for a 14 year old (laughs) just to get the fuck away and leave you. That dog is going to let you fucking die. He's going to be out in the yard like I I had to poo. What do you you want? There is no to the fucking death with that shit. If if that's what you're invested in, if you just put a couple grand to fucking help your dog's teeth out like he usually fucking have to, then you're fucking fucked. Because yeah, that, that motherfucker will survive you. On purpose. <laughs> as long as that intruder feeds him, he's good to go. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, oh, let me ask you. Got treaties? Let me ask you. Now that now that you're pet free, if you ever were to get another kind of pet, what would it be? Now, before you answer, I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess a parakeet. Would also Fresh get a parakeet? Nah. No? I don't know. I mean, I'm fucking go. at this point in my life, he's going to fucking outlive me. What? <laughs> <laughs> What about what about a hamster? What else? Oh, fresh ever own a hamster? Too close to a rat. What? What's wrong with rats? I, I, I own a rat. I, 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 don't, I don't like rats. Really? See, if you don't like something, there's something wrong with them. 
In my in my opinion, in my opinion, the motherfucker who just told me I had a possum in my house. <laughs> Can you smell your rat friends? Can you smell that possum in my house? What about uh? Let's see. What about what about a rabbit? What else? A fresh ever had a uh, pet fuck, buddy? No, I'm not getting a fucking rabbit. I no? might I might get some fish, like some goldfish. Sure, like or like a full blown aquarium. I gotta get some fish I could kill. Then I can get some real. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> I see how the shit works. You find fish you can just totally kill. Like you know, two three dollar goldfish. Sure. I mean, uh, hey, you if you know what if you weren't here, then you'd be in a can of tuna. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> Are you uh, is also fresh into reptiles or insects? Like, would you ever have a tarantula? I kind of, I kind of traumatized about it because me and my buddy James, he had an iguana. Okay. Number one, the bitch ass iguana ran across my records and scratched them the fuck up. Iguanas Ooh. are fucking vicious, bro. And, 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 and then this bitch ass, like, like what happened in Florida. So this bitch ass escapes, right? Runs outside. As they do, and all of a sudden it turns fucking cold. Yeah, and then we look. We're out. We're out. This is why I own a mobile. I was a young man owning a mobile. Nineteen with a mobile. Get with it, bitch. Anyway, we're outside and we're looking up in the fucking tree. I, I'm making all these signals. You can see this. Hey, watch this on Patreon because I'm moving my arm. It's not that interesting, but it's worth you subscribing on Patreon. So I go out there and we look up in the tree, and the motherfucker's up in the tree and he's not moving. Right? And we're like, oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't we, we, must be, we, must be 19, we must be 19, 20 This motherfucker must be 10 feet up We did everything we could to knock him down to the fucking 10 ground. feet up and you couldn't fucking get to him 10 feet or so? Or maybe it was 12 We had to poke him with a stick okay, And okay. he fucking fell <laughs> then, we, <laughs> then we bring him back in the house And that son of a bitch comes back to life <laughs> I see, I'm like you, you motherfucker. Did you get another iguana? No, that's the same one. No, fuck, he was dead. No fucking way. Yeah, they come back to life. Yeah, they'll fucking freeze out. You talk about possums. There's no possums in my house, but they're. <laughs> so you're telling you're tell, It sounds like hibernation. Iguanas must hibernate. They hibernate when it gets too cold. What the fuck? Jesus Christ! Dude. And it will freak you the fuck out because I mean, freak you out because this thing was dead. <laughs> Like hey, like like every lassie, like oh every like every dog you've ever seen on TV growing up, it was dead. Dude, can you fucking imagine that? Imagine no, imagine if your dog fucking hibernated. It's cold out one day. You walk in, the dog's just like dead. No, but I, I, and then I, springtime comes around and it's just like, whoo, like just I, I, fucking go, get to go. I'd freak the fuck out. I would freak. The fuck out. Dude, that'd be some pet cemetery shit. And that motherfucker is living outside. For the rest of my life It's never coming around Ever again And I'd be telling that motherfucker Exactly this right here I'd be like Lassie I'm sorry But We can't have you in the house anymore As a matter of fact We can't even have you in the yard Motherfucker I mean so- but, but If he comes back to life Is he gonna be looking like Normal It's time to go Or is he gonna be like like glo- glowing eyes like, and shit. Is it going to be, be rotted flesh or something? Is he going to have know. a fucking I mean, razor hey, blade in his hey, mouth? If the dog is exactly the fucking same, I mean, maybe we'd be a little... I still wouldn't trust him. Unless, unless somebody could prove to me that dogs are now hibernating like fucking bears and iguanas. No dice. I, no, I'm killing that fucking thing. And by killing, I mean taking to the pound and letting somebody else do it, that son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't know. I'd be afraid to live. I'd be afraid to let it live because it would come back and haunt me. It would find my home and cut my wrists. You think I want to sleep in a house with a dog that resurrected from the fucking dead? <laughs> no. I mean, let's be honest. You can barely trust the dog that you know. <laughs> that's because when you were asleep, that's when they will tear up shit, shit in the house, and then act like, oh, who did that? <laughs> but I will tell you one thing. I don't want to traumatize you right here. If you grew up watching TV and movies and everything, every animal you've seen on TV is dead. All of them. Every single fucking animal. If there was a dog you loved in your favorite TV show, he's dead now. If there's a bird, maybe a parrot survived. But if there's a horse, they're dead. If there's a goat, they're dead. If there's a chicken, you have probably eaten them as part of a chicken nugget because they ground the rest off. If there's any animal, if the, hey, you you remember when you'd see they have a hamster in the classroom on, on your little favorite show? That motherfucker's dead too. It's, you know, I don't mean to be morbid, but it's time for you to come to life and come to reality and understand you're a grown up now. Thanks for listening to the Hype Podcast. Fuck it. We'll do it live. They gone.